Now we'll look at equations with grouping symbols. So grouping symbols are brackets. So you've probably seen a lot of brackets before. Now we'll look at some equations where we have brackets involved. So let's get started with question 19. So you can see some brackets there, can't you? So when you have brackets, guys, it's a good idea to get rid of them because brackets are annoying. So I want you to start by trying to think about how to get rid of those brackets. Now, to get rid of the brackets, we need to simply expand. So see how this is three times x plus two, and that's two times x plus one. So let's expand it. So make sure you know how to do your expansion. It's three times x and three times two. So you're gonna multiply whatever's outside to everything inside. So here, I'll have three x, because three times x is three x. Three times two is six, and make sure you watch the signs, plus two, so it must be plus six. And then here, we do the same thing. Two times x is two x, and two times one is two. Okay, so now you can see we got rid of all the brackets, all the grouping symbols, and the right hand side is just three. Now gather the like terms. So I'm gonna gather my x's together and probably my constants together, aren't we? So you can see that 3x plus 2x, I'm leaving it on my left, and the 6 and the 2, I'm going to move it to the other side. So see how it's plus 6 and plus 2? I'm going to make it negative 6 and negative 2 onto the other side. Okay, this is what we've been doing for the past few questions, haven't we? So now, 3x plus 2x is 5x, and 33 minus 6 minus 2, it should be 25. So make sure you double check that and make, don't make any silly mistakes with those. Now see how 5x is 25, what do we do to get just x? Simply divide. So 25 divided by 5 is 5, that's the answer. Okay, so don't worry if you have grouping symbols, all you need to do is get rid of them. So just like I did, so there's nothing really fancy about this one. Okay, so that was 19. 20. Okay, what are you going to do guys? Expand it out, get rid of those grouping symbols. So. I did 7 times x, which is 7x, 7 times 3, which is 21, but we have a negative, so make sure you follow the sign, negative. Now 4 times x is 4x, four, 4 times 2 is 8, and it's all equal to 64. Gather your like terms, so I'm going to keep my 7x and 4x on my left, but the negative 21 and the 8, I'm going to move it to the other side. So I have 7x plus 4x left on my left. And I'll have 64 plus 21, because that's negative, must be positive 21 here. And because that's positive 8, I'm going to make it negative 8. Okay, get the idea? Now, simplify it. So 7x plus 4x is 11x. And calculate this, guys. 64 plus 21 minus 8 is 77. Okay, so hopefully I don't have to explain that. Now, we have 11x equals to 77. We have 11 times x equals to 77. What's the opposite of multiply? Divide. So x is simply 77 divided by 11, which is simply 7. Okay, so the last part you should be very used to because we've done a lot of those. Okay, so that's the answer. 21. Guys, if you can, try this yourself. Try to pause and try to do your own working out and check my answer, okay? But for those who still need a bit of help, just keep watching. I'll expand again, get rid of all those grouping symbols. 2 times 8x is 16x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 5 times 2x is 10x. And 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Okay, so make sure you always keep an eye on the signs as well. And then gather your like terms. I'm going to leave my 16x and 10x on my left. And the 2 is negative 2, so make it positive 2. The negative 15, make it positive 15. And simplify it. That side, 16 plus 10 is 26, so 26x. And at these up, guys, you should get 52. Yeah? So make sure you can do your own calculations. Now, 26x equals to 52. What do we do to the 26? Divide it. So x will be just 2, because 52 divided by 26 is 2. Okay, so I hope you're getting the hang of this now. It's very, very repetitive. 22, again, getting rid of all those grouping symbols by expanding. So you can see that 4 times 3x is 12x, 4 times 5 is 20, 
Now watch out for the negative here, guys. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Negative 6 times positive 6 is negative 36. Now again, gather your like terms. So the 12x and the negative 6x I'll leave on my left, and the 20 and the negative 36 move it all onto the other side. So positive 20 becomes negative 20, negative 36 becomes positive 36. Now 12 minus 6 is 6x, that blah, 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 blah is 42. You guys can do your own calculations, I won't go through that. So 6x is 42, what's x? We need to divide by 6, don't we? So what's 42 divided by 6? 7. So 7 is the answer, that's x. Okay, so really easy, yeah? 23. Okay, guys, I really, really want you to try and pause and try this yourself. I think you guys can give it a shot and just watch me for you to check. So, I'm going to expand. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. And watch out here, guys. Negative, time, negative 6 times negative x. Negative, negative is a positive, so make sure you always change that to a positive if we have a negative, negative. That's where a lot of students make a mistake, okay, so you must be careful. And then it's just going to be 6x, positive 6x. Gather your like terms, so 8x plus 6x on the left, the negative 4 becomes a positive 4, negative 12 becomes a positive 12. Move it all onto the right. And you can see that 8 plus 6 is 14. 12 plus 4 plus 12 is 28. So, to get rid of that 14, we simply need to divide, don't we? So 28 divided by 14 is 2. So x is 2. Alright? Okay, now we're getting a very long. Okay, it's a longer equation, but as long as you keep it the same structure and the same pattern and the same method, there's nothing hard about this. It just takes a little bit longer, that's all. But that's not a big deal. So, Let's get started on this, guys. If you can, try it yourself and check. Okay, I'm going to just expand out all the brackets. That's what I'm going to do at the beginning. So expand out everything, just like this, because 3 times 2x is 6x, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and make sure here, guys, negative negative is positive, so 2 times 4 is 8, so positive 8. And it's equal to? 4 times x, which is 4x, 4 times 2, which is 8, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, and negative 2 times negative x is positive 2x. And don't forget to change that to a positive, and then plus the 3. Gather your like terms. So I'm going to move all my x's on my left and all the constants onto my right. So I have 6x minus 2x, and see how we have 4x here? Move it over by making it negative 4x. And the positive 2x here, move it over by making it negative 2x. And then all the constants you move over to the right. So I have 8 minus 8 plus 3, and I also have plus 9 minus 8. <sighs> Pretty long, but you get the idea, yeah? So 6 minus 2 is 4, minus 4 is 0, minus 2 is minus 2x. Now 8 minus 8 plus 3 plus 9 minus 8, you guys can calculate that, it should be equal to 4. Now I have negative 2x equals to 4, how do we get rid of the negative 2? Divide. So x is simply 4 divided by negative 2, which is negative 2. Okay, so although it's pretty long, it's actually really easy. Now finally, we have another one and you can see that we have x's outside but even if you have x's outside keep it the same way so I'm going to expand it out what's x times x guys x times x hopefully some of you can remember it's x squared okay and x times negative 2 is negative 2x negative x times 2 is negative 2x so trying to keep the number in front some people tend to write x2 but don't write that always write 2x with the number in front and then negative x times x is negative x squared, and that's equal to 12. And you can see here, guys, x squared minus x squared, that cancels away. So if you can cancel it, just cancel it out. Negative 2x minus 2x is, well, I've got rid of these first. 
and then you can see that becomes now negative 4x because that minus that is negative 4x and get rid of the negative 4 by dividing so 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3 okay so it's a good thing that the x squares cancelled out because once we have x squared it gets a little bit confusing but can you see the idea have a good look at that one yeah so as long as you know your expansion this part is also pretty easy hopefully so that's the end of this part